You ever wonder what it's like to take a Taka cat out? How stable these inflatable catamaran dinghies are? We're gonna show you today. We're gonna take it to the beach. We're gonna be cruising around. We're gonna board it from our boat so you can see what the stability is like, what it's like uh, when it's loaded up, what it's like to take the beach. So come hang out on the beach with my wife Alicia and I. This is Echo Zulu Cruising. Let's go have fun on the Taka Cat 300 LX. We stow the Taka Cat on the roof rack. It weighs about 29 kilograms. So underway, we have it tied down. And when we stop to use it, we both pull it off, pull it down the side, and place it into the water. It took us about two minutes to put the Taka Cat off, uh, off the roof into the water. It takes very little time. It takes as long to tie, tie the uh, stern line so it doesn't float away. It does to lift it off. So it's very easy for Alicia and I to put into the water together. Again, it's 64 pounds. Um, to put it in and you can see when, when it's in here there's a little water splashing up on it but it's pretty stable to walk onto so I can stand on it getting a little water on the bow when I'm up there when I'm towards the stern there's less uh, overall it's very stable very comfortable uh, to be able to to, uh, to stand on it's a good stable platform we have the e-propulsion Spirit 1.0 installed, and here I'm stepping off of the swim platform right onto the bow of the Taka Cat, which remains stable. We're able to get underway and walk right on. Now that we're comfortable with the Taka Cat and setting up the e-propulsion, we can have it deployed in under 10 minutes when we want to stop and just go to the beach. So it's actually really convenient to be able to use when you have it on board. The Taka Cat's here on a beach, and it's easy for one person to maneuver so we can push it back a little bit into the water get it out so it's just not right on the sand and then i'm stepping right onto the bow of the taka cat my camera work leaves a little bit to be desired because you can't see the bow but i'm standing right on the bow and the stern remains stable so the bow stays dry i can jump around no water comes up on the bow when i'm doing once we push off the beach, it's easy to lower the e-propulsion back into the water and go into reverse, doing a little bit of a test on uh, trying to show what our, uh, and the impact of going reverse on the transom. You can see on that little corner on the left-hand side of the screen, there's no water coming on. On the side that I'm sitting on, with my weight, there's about eight inches of, of water right that comes up along the side for a little bit of a wash, but there's very little there and we're backing into a strong current. You can see this bow rider coming across the intercoastal. We're gonna to head towards that for a little wake test. If you find our content informative or entertaining, please like and subscribe, share with your friends. We really wanna try and be a helpful resource to people. As you see, when we come up to this wake, we're going our full speed at four knots. It's going its full speed at about 30. This is a normal wake. We cross it without any problems. The Taka Cat has really consistent performance when we're up underway, when we stay dry, when we cross waves. Well, I'm doing the hard work of testing the Taka Cat. Alicia was taking advantage of the bow cushions on the Juno NC 1095, as well as taking some photos to remind me of how I look shooting video. Because it was a nice day, we loaded up to head to the beach. Alicia and I and our gear weigh about 400 pounds, mostly me. And as you can see, as we're going through this with the load and the two of us, we stay dry the whole way. We could have more weight on board. And importantly, my wife is tolerant of this whole YouTube thing and has an amazing sense of humor. Pulling your demanding wife in. <laughs> that shrew makes me cut all of her vegetables. <laughs> the small bite-sized pieces. <laughs> The Taka Cat with the e propulsion is a really manageable load for two people. Here I'm trying to show off doing it on my own, but if you don't have someone filming, it's really easy to have two people pull it up together. So the Taka Cat really has been a pretty awesome uh, and pretty stable uh, little dinghy. It's been fun to take out and, and around it. It, it's, it uh, has some good pickup. It's very stable. You can get on and off the bow. When you back down in reverse, there's some water that comes over the transom. If you go slow, there's very little. Going into waves though, there's very little or no water over the bow when we're underway. The other day in stronger winds when we were tied up behind the boat, there was some that was splashing a little on the bow and, and waves were off the side. But when we're running underway, we can go over boat wake. We can go 
uh, through through the, the waves that are in the intercoastal without any real problems. So it's really nice, really stable. Walk all the way to the bow of it, rock back and forth. It's a it's a stable platform. It's easy to use, and with the e propulsion, it's got a decent pickup. We're never going to pull anyone uh, behind us, but we have good range. I have it on full speed going a couple knots. Someday we'll do a speed test uh, on that, not today. So that's some of our performance on the Takacat 300LX. Check out our assembly and uh, how we put it on board. The uh, sweetest thing, our Juno NC1095. But really enjoy the Takacat. Recommend it uh, as a dinghy, particularly on a boat where you're not going to leave it inflated all the time. It fits inside our uh, Lazarette. We're able to bag it up and put it away. We're able to pull it out and use it, and the two of us can stow it, put, pick it up, put it in the water uh, really pretty easily. If you want to see more on the Taka Cat, you can uh, check it out on the video up there. And it's on the assembly, how we put it together and a little bit of our initial review. This is a little bit more of uh, performance. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have fun, be safe, be happy. See you on the water.